So I've been out here for a little while now. I forgot how long I came. I think I came out here about 7 o'clock. 7.30. I think it was about 7.30 when I got here. <clears throat> Not have much luck again. If you like panfish or like things like bluegill, sunfish, warmouth, rock bass, things like that. You can come out here and you can catch those one after the next. We just got to get out here about in between six and seven. Seems to be when they hit the bust. But you got to not, you can't like float, you know, can't fish on a slip floater or a bobber because if you do that, they'll, they'll take the bait right down their gut. So if you're doing catch and release, well, that pretty much kills most of them most of the time and they go down the gut. So usually I just kind of throw a 10 second rule. Once the bobber hits the water, 10 second splash, give them a little bit of time to find it. They'll hit it and take off with it. They'll hit one after the next when you do that. But you just gotta come at feeding time. It seems like feeding time for those is about six to seven o'clock. Well, the big fish aren't hitting yet. I don't expect them to really hit until about mid-July. Well, I should be able to hit a large amount of bass, and I haven't hit one yet. So that's usually what I hit out here this time of year is the bass and the crappie. There's so many darn silver carp out here. It is loaded with these silver carp. They are everywhere. Everywhere I look, they're jumping through the water. They act just like a shad. I, you know, if I, did, if I didn't see them and I didn't pull a couple of them out, I wouldn't know exactly what they were. I think the next time I come out, I'm going to bring my cast net out. We're going to bag a few of them and see what they look like. I think that's what they are, though. So that's a lot more than was in here last year and the year before. I mean, they're like everywhere. They're just banging up against the wall like a, a gizzard side. So I assume they feed differently than normal fish because if they be banging against that wall like that, they can't have very good eyesight, I don't think. Their eyesight can't be very good. I was hitting bass there for a while. I was, I was hitting at least two, three, four bass a day when I come out here, but it's like I'm not hitting any now. I haven't hit a single boss now and three times out. I think they had the tournament that one Sunday, and like when they threw the fish in, they threw the fish in back over there where the boat ramp is. And they kind of stayed in the sand for a little while. They kind of moved on out now. No, I got a hit. He didn't take it. Something grabbed, but didn't take it. Most likely that was not a bluegill. That was sunfish. It had to be a small crappie, most likely. Or it could be a little white bass. I, I get a lot of grabs from those white bass. Sometimes I'll catch like 20, 20 to 30 white bass. Well, I kind of recognize the grabs from that because they'll grab and they'll let go. It usually means they're just not big enough to take it. They can't get it in their mouth. So the size of your lure limits the minimum size of the fish. When you don't want to catch a small fish, you bump your lure size up a little bit and the little ones can't get it in their mouth. That eliminates from having to take the little ones off the hook. Getting about ready to call it tonight. I was going to give it to about probably about 10 o'clock. Got about another 50 minutes to go. Let's see if we can pull a big one out of here. But I'm not, you know, looking. I'm not expecting to. I just basically came out to get out, see what the lake was like, see if it's cleared up anymore yet. It looks a little more clear and clean than it did the other night. I saw in one group page that they said there was a lot of. A lot of dead fish floating on the water, but I don't see it. So I don't know what they were talking about. I do not see those dead fish anywhere. You know, I've seen a couple here and there, but they look like gut hooks to me. Where they just, you know, let the bait lay there too long and the fish swallow it down the belly. That's why I try to keep my bait moving. 
except for on the big pole the big poles I let that lay and I try to hit as deep as I can kind of get away from the smaller fish that's where most of the big fish hit anyway is out in the middle but the middle right here is between here and the in the boat dock when they come in they'll come right down the middle of that very seldomly do anything but small cats come up close to the bank always catch the big cats out further or I always catch them way out actually I'm probably fishing about a hundred feet out somewhere around there I'm guessing a hundred feet out is about where I'm fishing it's hard to judge the distance from here to the boat dock and then try to split that in half that's a little bit longer than a hundred feet I'll cross through there it's probably might be close to 200 feet I'm not really sure maybe 180 170 there's a lot of crappie big crappie over here this time of year because by this time of year they've usually fished out all the little ones and all that leaves is the big crappie that's why I always come out in May I like coming out in May because March and April they're out here fishing for crappie and they usually clean all the little ones out and that gets them out of the way and then that just leaves the big crappie and so far I've only hit one big crappie but not but not big enough to pass what I've hit in the past years. So for me to go bigger than what I've hit over the years, it's gonna have to be bigger than 17 inches. That is my goal with crappie. It's gotta be over 17 inches. Everything so far this year, still little ones. Still a lot of little ones out here. I see some in front of me, but it's like that's not the silver carp. It's probably could be a blue guy, it could be a warmouth, rock bass, whatever you want to call it. Could be a sunfish, could be a crappie. Here's the ducks. The geese. I hear the geese. I think those Samsung cell phones do a lot better than the Apple cell phone, but still I can't, I have a hard time getting connections out here. Well, Samsung has always only got one bar connection up here, so it must be, the cell towers out here must be on the other network. They don't convert the signal very well. That's the only way you think of figure, because the Apple, I get a connection out here, but as those of you that's listened to it, the sound is in and out. It's in and out because it's not a steady signal. So it's very poor cell phone service out to you. But it's not that way every year though. Last year I had really good cell service out here. I don't know what happened between last year and this year that make my cell service go down. I still had the one cell phone with this one service, but I have volume problems. Have volume problems on the microphone, that's the iPhone. I'm not too swift about Apple products. I've heard rumors and this and that about how they crash and this not, and, and people have problems with them. But that first iPad I bought, those things aren't cheap. But it was gone, it, it crashed in two years. Two years, it was down and gone. That's not very good for how much you pay for those things. So I'm back on Samsung. My first tablet that was Samsung, it lasted me over 10 years. I only paid $65 for it. I had good data service out here. Pretty much anywhere I went with it, I could connect to the, connect online and broadcast. The only thing is, that thing got obsolete. It got obsolete where the apps that I normally use, I couldn't use them anymore. Because it couldn't be upgraded anymore. So I finally, I donated it to Goodwill. And I thought I would try Apple. Everybody said Apple's a great product. The only thing I really see Apple is good for is taking selfies. 
it's a good selfie tool. But I'd rather have a camera for that. The camera does a lot better job than, than, than an iPhone or an iPad. So if I was going to use a selfie device, I'd want a camera. I wouldn't want to pay that much for just a tablet or a knife or a cell phone. So I got still have the iPhone. I still have the, the iPod, but that's the last iPad. That's the last Apple products I'm going to buy. I already told Apple company, so it's like if you ain't gonna stand behind your products, it's like that's it. I ain't buying them all your products. That's too much money for junk. It doesn't last very long. So we can't go out there and spend a thousand dollars every freaking year just to replace these things or upgrade or this or that. So you need to go with the times. We have high inflation today. And they want to raise the price. They are raising the prices on their products. All right, so I can see it's getting kind of dark, but I see the quality of the Samsung. It's still, you can see something. <laughs> the iPhone, you just see a black screen right now because there's not enough light to even make the iPhone work at this time of night. So I'm kind of impressed with the Samsung. So that's pretty good for night time. I can still see the lake. Well, I can see a lot of things. I can see the boats clearly. So, so many different things I can see on the Samsung that I can't see on the iPhone. And I don't think the tablet will be able to show up anything either. I think basically I just have a black screen. And this is not even really grainy. I don't even, it's, it's like dark, but it's not grainy. So that's kind of... I think I should have just stayed with Samsung the whole time. I'm starting to think that Samsung does make a better product so long as it stays the way it is. I just need to improve the signal strength. All right, that's not working. One of those persons, if it doesn't work within 15 minutes, then I'll try something else. When I'm throwing the bobber, I give it 10 seconds. 10 seconds after it hits the water, if it don't get a bite, pull it back out, throw it back out. And usually I have a two hour rule. My two hour rules, if I don't catch a big fish within two hours, I'm probably not going to. But right now, you know, I'm just out playing. So now I see darkness. All right, so with the darkness, we're gonna go ahead and kill it right there. And then this right here, and then maybe I'll see what the iPhone could do. What do you think?